Do you remember the first time that you saw R2-D2 or C-3PO from Star Wars? These two robots exhibited human-like behavior as they interacted with people and the world around them. How about when the world was subject to machine control in the Matrix? This is a pretty frightening concept. Or even in the critically acclaimed Hollywood hit Ex Machina, when a machine was built to look, talk, feel and act like a human being. These movies, like many others, have their own depictions of what artificial intelligence looks like and means to us as a society. The term artificial intelligence has been popularized in books and movies to depict futuristic settings where machines take over the world or live with us side by side as if they were humans. Did you know that artificial intelligence is actually here with us today? That we as a society and a culture are already embracing artificial intelligence in our daily lives every day. We no longer live in a world where artificial intelligence is just a story in our books or on the big screen when we go to the movies. But if artificial intelligence is already here, what does it really look like? How does it work? And how does artificial intelligence actually compare to the fictional representations of AI in our culture? I'm Ronald van Loon. I'm a consultant, blogger, vlogger, webinar host and a keynote speaker. And I'm helping businesses achieve digital transformation and helping you to understand some of the most innovative and exciting new technologies out there today. And I'm here to tell you that it's true. Artificial intelligence is already here among us and you're already using it and it's very helpful to all of us. Let me tell you more about it. Did you notice that when you start listening to music on Spotify, that Spotify actually starts to recommend you new music based upon your favorite songs? How about when you're on your way to work and Google Maps recommends that you take a faster alternative route to save you time in heavy traffic conditions? What about when you're at home and you ask Amazon's Alexa to set your alarm so that you can get up early and be at your appointment on time the next day? Artificial intelligence is the backbone for these innovative technologies that we are using every single day. Artificial intelligence creates a higher degree of efficiency and productivity by automating repetitive tasks, creating immersive and responsive experiences, and understanding human sentiment and even emotions. Did you know that we are already seeing the first self-driving cars on our roadways? And you guessed it, artificial intelligence is helping self-driving cars react and know when it's safe to drive, when to brake or respond to objects within its environment. Essentially, artificial intelligence trains and learns similarly to the way humans do. And that's pretty impressive. Humans don't need to continuously input information into computers in order to make them function the way we want. Artificial intelligence was created in order to learn just like us. So that we don't have to tell Spotify what songs we like. So that we don't have to constantly input traffic conditions and manually search for routes to work. So that we don't have to teach Alexa how to understand our speech patterns. So that we don't have to personally map every single roadway and driving scenario for self-driving cars to know how to drive. Artificial intelligence is designed to automatically learn these type of functions on its own. But how does artificial intelligence actually do this? From a technical standpoint, we teach it a mathematical algorithm. A code that helps a computer to recognize patterns in data. What do I mean by data? Well, we as a society are now in an era of data because of the technology that we are using, like our computer, our tablets and our smartphones. All of these devices, cars and machines are equipped with sensors that produce information that companies can use in their artificial intelligence technologies. It helps artificial intelligence to learn and to make decisions like we do. These type of devices are generating massive amounts of data every second. And artificial intelligence helps us to better read, understand and utilize this data for specific purposes. Let's look back at our Spotify example. 
When you are using a program like Spotify to listen to music on your computer, on an app, on your smartphone, data is being collected and stored by Spotify. When I say data is being collected and stored, I mean all of the songs that you listen to. What time you listen to those songs, how often you listen, and what artists and bands that you prefer to listen to. But the people working at Spotify simply can't read and sort through all of these songs you like. Because there are just too many customers and too much data for people to be able to understand it. And that's where artificial intelligence comes into play. Spotify uses artificial intelligence to look through all of this data. But artificial intelligence is special because it does not just look through all of your song choices. It starts to recognize the songs you like on its own. And the bands you play and the times of the day that you are listening to them. Artificial intelligence even goes one step further and also starts to notice when other Spotify customers are listening to the same bands as you. It can tell that you will like a new band based upon the experience and preferences of other Spotify customers. People just simply don't have the time or the mental capacity to search through millions of songs. So we create artificial intelligence to do tasks like this for us. As a result, you have a great time enjoying your favorite songs because Spotify and artificial intelligence personalize your music experience. You know, it's exciting to think that we not only have artificial intelligence technology, but we are already using it and many of us might not even have realized it. These really are fascinating times for us and for our technology. Next time that you make it to work on schedule by taking a faster route recommended by your GPS on Google Maps, you can thank artificial intelligence. Or when you ask Alexa what the weather looks like outside, you will start to appreciate artificial intelligence. What about the future of artificial intelligence? Well, when you get into your first self-driving car in the near future and you're reading a book or playing on the phone instead of driving, you will start to feel the full impact of artificial intelligence. Did you know that Spotify created a new creator research lab in Paris where they will be teaching computers musical composition techniques? And this is going to help real musicians in their musically creative process and give them a more expansive range of musical tools. In the coming years, artificial intelligence is going to continue to augment many human tasks giving people the freedom to work and to live more efficiently and capably in our everyday life. Thank you for joining me today for our discussion of artificial intelligence. Come and join me next time when we discuss big data. I'm Ron van Loon and this is the Digital World. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share.